Have you ever wondered why the United States got involved in the Vietnam War? What sparked the decision to engage in a conflict so far from home? Today we'll delve into the intricacies of the Vietnam War and the 1960s, a time that shaped the world as we know it. In the early 1960s, the United States was gripped by a fear of the spread of communism, leading to the development of the domino theory. This theory, different from the policy of containment, suggested that if one country fell to communism, its neighbors would soon follow like a row of falling dominoes. This fear was a significant factor in the United States' decision to intervene in Vietnam. The Gulf of Tonkin incident which occurred in 1964 was a pivotal moment that led to the escalation of U.S. involvement in Vietnam. This incident involved two separate confrontations between North Vietnam and the United States in the waters of the Gulf of Tonkin. The U.S. government used these confrontations as a justification for escalating military involvement in Vietnam. The Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, passed by Congress, gave President Johnson the authority to assist any Southeast Asian country whose government was considered to be jeopardized by communist aggression. In essence, the Gulf of Tonkin incident and the subsequent resolution played a significant role in the escalation of the Vietnam War. President Lyndon B. Johnson, influenced by the domino theory, deployed U.S. troops to South Vietnam in 1964. As the conflict escalated, the U.S. military employed new weapons such as napalm and Agent Orange, causing widespread destruction and loss. However, the United States faced challenges in dealing with the guerrilla warfare tactics employed by the Viet Cong and the popularity of North Vietnamese leader Ho Chi Minh. The Vietnam War was not just a war fought in jungles and rice paddies, it was also a war fought in the hearts and minds of the American people. The media played a significant role in this, publicizing the tragedies of war on national television and newspapers. The credibility gap, a term used to describe the public's growing distrust of the government's handling of the war, widened. The Tet Offensive, launched by North Vietnam and the Viet Cong in 1968, was a turning point in the Vietnam War. In a surprise attack during the Tet Holiday, a traditional Vietnamese New Year celebration, the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces launched a major offensive against South Vietnam. The shock of the Tet Offensive had a profound impact on American morale and the war for hearts and minds. It eroded the public's confidence in the U.S. government and military, and it was a major factor in turning public opinion against the war. The Tet Offensive marked a significant shift in the Vietnam War, impacting American morale and the war for hearts and minds. Anti-war protests grew increasingly hostile, culminating in the infamous Kent State shooting in 1969. The Supreme Court decision in Tinker v. Des Moines in 1969 affirmed students' rights to protest the war, further fueling the anti-war movement. The 1960s weren't just about war and civil unrest though, art and music flourished, with the Beatles leading the British invasion, the pop art movement taking the art world by storm, and the Woodstock Music Festival becoming a symbol of peace and love. The 1960s were also a time of significant civil liberties decisions, further shaping the cultural and societal landscape of America. Landmark cases like Gideon v. Wainwright in 1963 recognized the right of criminal defendants to have an attorney, even if they couldn't afford one. Then came New York Times v. Sullivan in 1964, where lawsuits based on libel or defamation required proof of intent or recklessness. The Miranda v. Arizona case in 1966 ensured that criminal suspects were informed of their rights before being questioned. In 1967, Loving v. Virginia ruled restrictions on interracial marriage as unconstitutional, marking a significant step towards racial equality. Lastly, Baker v. Carr in 1962 confirmed that federal courts could intervene in redistricting cases, ensuring a fair representation of citizens. These landmark decisions had a profound impact on civil liberties in the United States and continue to influence our society today. The Vietnam War came to a close, largely due to Nixon's policy of Vietnamization, which aimed to empower South Vietnamese forces. This initiative sought to equip and train these forces to take over combat operations, creating a pathway for the withdrawal of U.S. troops. In 1973 the U.S. agreed to pull out, leading the release of U.S. prisoners of war. Yet, the costs were steep, both human and financial. The fall of Saigon and the passing of the War Powers Resolution of 1973 marked the conclusion of one of the most tumultuous periods in American history. In summary, the Vietnam War was a complex conflict that was influenced by a fear of communism, showcased the power of media, triggered a massive anti-war movement, 
and led to significant Supreme Court decisions. It was a time of change, tension and evolution that has left a lasting impact on the world. Following the Vietnam War in the wake of Nixon's policy of Vietnamization, a significant legislation was passed, known as the War Powers Resolution of 1973. This federal law was intended as a check on the president's power to commit the United States to an armed conflict without the consent of Congress. The intention was to avoid a repeat of the Vietnam scenario where troops were deployed and war waged without a formal declaration, and where Nixon's Vietnamization policy, which sought to transfer more military responsibilities to South Vietnamese forces, intense political debates. This legislation had profound implications for the president and the executive branch, restricting their unilateral decision-making power in military matters. The Nixon's policy of Vietnamization thus served as a catalyst for this legislation, influencing future military decisions and policies. Despite this, the War Powers Resolution has been a source of contention, with ongoing debate about its constitutionality and effectiveness. Even today the War Powers Resolution, under the shadow of Nixon's Vietnamization, continues to be a topic of heated discussion, highlighting the ongoing tension between the executive and legislative branches of the U.S. government.